Praise the Lord. Welcome to day seven of our 60-day devotional. We're almost a week into it. I hope that you have been blessed. You know, today I was just meditating on the scripture. The Bible says, without God, everything is impossible. And I'm paraphrasing, but what does it say? Without God, everything's impossible. But what does it say? With God, nothing is impossible. I want you to say right now, say, with God, nothing is impossible. You know, sometimes we only live like we're, we're looking at the first part of the verse and we think that, well, things are too impossible, it's too difficult, and we look at things negatively, we look at the cup and, oh, it's half empty. But God says what? With Him, all things are possible. We need to change our way of thinking. Look at the cup and not look at it and say it's half empty. Say, hey, come on, it's half full. And with God, I'm believing it's going to be full. Come on, begin to thank God for what he's doing in your life and know that as you begin to become thankful for God, as you begin to declare nothing is impossible with God, you step out of your limitations. As believers, we're not called to live in limitations. We have limitations in our thinking because maybe we think we don't have enough degrees. We you know, didn't finish high school or, or, or you know secondary school if you're in, in the international world. Or oh, I didn't you know I only got my bachelor's degree. I didn't get my master's or my doctorates. And, and we're limited in our education. Sometimes we're limited because maybe we came from a, a broken family and we didn't really have a wholesome family. And so we didn't have someone who really gave us an inheritance. We had to start out on our own. Sometimes in our limitations, you know, we think that we don't know enough people or we're not smart enough and we make all these excuses. But friends, it's not about your limitations. Come on, without God, you're stuck. That's all that you got. But as a son and a daughter of God, what does he say? Come on, with me, nothing is impossible. Come on, that we come out of that place of limitation and we come into God who is limitless. We get out of the natural and the circumstances. Sometimes people say, I'm under, the, I'm feeling this and I'm under the circumstances. Why are you under the circumstances? God hasn't called you to live under the circumstances. God's called you to do the impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. God's just looking for those that will believe him. The Bible says he's looking for those he can show himself strong. So break off the limitations. Watch your confession today. Are you looking at things negative? Are you waking up and, oh my God, it's another day. Are you waking up and, and looking at things and, oh, I've got to do this today. Or, oh, I've got to work with these people today. Or, oh, I've got to pastor these same people. Or, oh, you know, the rent's coming due. We're looking at the things negatively. Come on, get out of that. That's where we're at. That's the, the, the facts of life. But we're not limited by the facts. Come on, begin to declare nothing's impossible with God. Begin to declare David had mighty men, but they were not mighty men. They were mouses. Come on, they were all hiding out in a cave. But David saw the potential. He began to speak into them. And come on, the mice, the men that were hiding for their lives became mighty men that slayed giants and began to further the kingdom of God and, and, and just deal with the enemies of God. Come on, rise up in today. And so nothing is impossible. Come on, today, begin to declare nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. When you look against impossibilities, you look against limitations, come, nothing's impossible. Come on, God, with you, I can get through this. With you, I can break the limitation. It doesn't matter the education I have. It doesn't matter how much money I have or how much money I don't have. It doesn't matter who I know, or what I have or what I don't have. Come on, if you've got God, you're in the majority. Come on, all things are possible today. Declare today, nothing is too difficult. Nothing is impossible. When you hear problems today, laugh in the face of your problems. Come on, that's the kind of attitude we have. It's not just positive thinking, it's trusting in God. That the world has positive thinking, they think just, just be positive, just, just talk positively. And that only brings you so far. But when we have God, come on, nothing is impossible. Come on, we step in the spirit of faith. Through faith and patience, we inherit the promises of God. Get out of limitations today. Get out of limitations in your thinking, in your actions, in your attitude. Come on, declare today, all things are possible. As you get in your car, all things are possible. Come on, as you get on the train, all things are possible. As you walk into work and it's a difficult situation, come on, all things are possible because God is a God of the impossible. Amen? He makes the impossible possible today. Come on, get into faith and believe that and declare that. As you begin to declare that, come on, you'll make your way prosperous as you meditate on that word today. Nothing is impossible. It's going to be a great day.